Beckel Spinax from Metal has just been revealed along with the epic attack Spinosaurus we were all waiting for. Plus, we have brand new looks of the Pachyrhinosaurus in a whole new color, a green Pachyrhinosaurus. We now know Nazutoceratops is coming to Jurassic World Chaos Theory along with another type of Parasaurolophus and Bumpy Return. So does that mean we can see things like the... Teenage Spinoceratopsis, maybe even Spinosaurus. But on the topic of Spinosaurus, let's talk about the epic attack Spinosaurus. So this looks interesting, I guess. I'm not a fan of the colors, I don't think. Uh, I mean, they're cool. They're like a minty sort of dark minty coloring. I, I do like the coloring, but I feel it's just off for Spino. You know, it's not what Spino is. Spino is more that red when you think of Spino, right? But you have a look at it. Look at it sail carefully. It appears to have some bow damage on the sail, but I don't really know what too much to talk about. I guess we'll see full images soon, hopefully. But yeah, on the topic of Spino, again, Spinosaurus Cage Crasher. This was recently revealed. It's a full set. So I think this is based off those new Cage Crushers, which are like the tiny newest Snap Squads. Once again, how many times are we going to remake the Snap Squads, right? We had the Snap Squads first, then we had the uncaged ones, and now we have these ones. So uh, I believe the original uncaged ones included T, not uncaged, the new cage crushers included T Rex, Triceratops, and Dilophosaurus. And now we're getting a massive Spinosaurus. It also comes with Nash. I believe this is one of our first figures of Nash, at least for Mattel. Anyway, so I think that's super cool. And there seems to be a phone in there, plus some poop. We do know Spinosaurus did take a crap near the river's edge. But this looks like an interesting game. It looks like a board game, basically. So I'm very curious to see how it plays out. But speaking of the Cage Crushers, we have the Roaring Frenzy T-Rex to join the Spino. So if that wasn't enough of a game for you, we now have this Roaring T-Rex. I don't think this is a game, though. I think what it is, is it's like a remote-controlled dinosaur. My hair is so awful. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that it's a remote-controlled dinosaur that you control with the remote, obviously, that's what remote control does. But yeah, I guess it'll have wheels on the underside of its legs. And yeah, as for what else it could do, maybe you could join it up with Spino, maybe Spino moves as well. So you can do battles. Imagine that you've got T-Rex on one end, you've got Spino on the other, and you just start ramming them at each other. I don't know if they'll be built for that. You might end up breaking them, so don't take my word for it that you should be pitting them against each other. But I mean, it would be fun if that was somehow a feature, if you had to buy them separately for some reason. I mean, we all know they'll get more money from that. But let's move on to another new product that was shown off, the Dilophosaurus mask. I found these ones on Jurassic Outpost. The, this is the first part of the video, except for the Epic Attack Spino, that was from Jurassic Toys. But this Spinosaurus Cage Crusher, the Roaring Frenzy T-Rex, and the Dilophosaurus Mask I found on Jurassic Outpost's website. Now, the Dilophosaurus Mask is interesting. I'm not ma much of a mask person because those are all going to the fairies. They're all buying it. They're buying those products. Jurassic World's making money, even though they don't care about Jurassic World, but... You know, that's why Jurassic World keeps making masks, because even though we're not buying them, the furry community is. It's like, bro, okay. And they just repaint them anyway, so it's like, come on, man. That's such a good mask, but who knows what they'll be doing with this Dilophosaurus mask. Apparently, it can shoot acid. No, it can't shoot acid. It can shoot, like, water, so you can play around with your friends and stuff, you know. I think it'll be fun for kids if you're not repainting it like a furry, but still, let's move on to something new from Chaos Theory. We have a look at the McDonald's toys for Chaos Theory. Now, Camp Cretaceous did have some McDonald's toys. I believe I have one. My cousin gave it to me, actually. They're like, I think you'll like this. I'm like, is it a Jurassic World product? And like, yeah, from McDonald's. I was like, I completely missed that, but okay. And they're coming back, but they look somewhat better for a McDonald's toy because the old ones looked like chubby little babies. But now this one looks like an adult Parasaurolophus we're getting. So one of them is Parasaurolophus. Yes, the green one. I don't think it's the Lux Parasaurolophus, but we'll have to see. And then the other one, or the of out of four, there is a green Pachyrhinosaurus. So that's cool. We only knew of a brown Pachyrhinosaurus. So I guess 
we're getting multiple of them. Obviously, I mean, it's a herbivore, so it would come in herds. But yes, I guess they'll be brown, green, who knows what else they'll be. But also, there was an Azuceratops, so we're getting that too. But that's not the only thing we're getting in the McDonald's lineup. Bumpy returns. That is right. We see adult Bumpy. A weird kind of coloration on the toy, but you can see the picture because it shows the profile icon of them. So the actual animation of them from the show. If you ignore the McDonald's toy and look at it, it's very clearly Bumpy. Even though it says there's Ankylosaurus, it is so obviously Bumpy. So I think this is super awesome. The McDonald's toys have revealed that. Apparently, there will be more McDonald's toys. There's no images for them yet, but we do know they include Ben, Darius, T-Rex, and the villain for the show. We do not know who the villain is yet, though. That's speculation as of now. It could be Lewis Dodgson. Could be Soyona Santos. Really, who knows? If you guys would like to take a guess, let me know in the comments, but we still have more of this video. So please keep watching because I'm really excited to take a look at the Beckel Spinex soon. But first, let's look at Darius and Ghost. I didn't do a video on this. I'm saving it for when we get more information. And that day has come. I'm very happy with this. I'm happy I waited for now because yeah, now we can just do a chunk of information in the one video. Darius and Ghost. I think this is pretty interesting. I won't buy it. Here's why. I have the original Ghost and I hate this crouching pose Raptor. I have the Panthera one in that exact pose. It is not fun. There's no movability with it. But with the other Atrociraptors, they're fun to use. Adult Darius, I'll wait for him to show up in another pack, basically. But Ceratosaurus, we have seen this before. But, you know, this is the official image of it in its packaging. So I think that's really cool. It has the Chaos Theory logo on it. So I assume we could be seeing this green Ceratosaurus in Chaos Theory. Do you guys think they could change up the look? for this Ceratosaurus Gen 2. I know they're adding a brand new Ceratosaurus to Jurassic World Live, so maybe that could hint that we could be getting a brand new Ceratosaurus in Chaos Theory. But you guys have been waiting for this, the Beckel Spinex, I'm very excited. It is named Brunette. I've hinted at this before, not necessarily hinted, I literally stated it because on the website, one of the websites, Aussie Collectibles, I found it, the source, um, it says it is Battle Raw Beckel Spinex Brunette. So that is the name of it, at least one of them. But it's interesting because this one's brown and brunette obviously means brown. But the imagined next one is yellow or a sandy kind of pattern. So what do you think that one's name could be? Are there two Beckel Spinexes? Theories up for debate, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. But yes, Beckel Spinex Brunette. What do you guys think of it? I was super hyped for the Beckel Spinex, but after seeing this way of the toy like the head is very giga looking the spine i don't know how i feel but we'll have to i want to see more images to make a fuller guesstimation but check out my previous video magna raptor it's almost like a beckel spikes with its half sale but i'll see you all later bye everyone